so you just had a baby how long ago? Three months. Three months. Fresh. Okay, so fresh, <laughs> fresh yeah. out the body. <laughs> so you have a, a three month old, and then how old is the first one? A two year old. And and boy, that's a lot. It's a lot. And the two year old was very jealous at first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there they are. That the internet is a lie. That's not how my life really is. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> The two-year-old was so jealous at first, and when my... Oh, there we go, that's real life. That's real life. When the new baby came, uh, my toddler was like, Mama, uh, she, she wanted to be a baby all over again. She was like, I want to drink milk from your boobies. <laughs> and I was like, the fact that you can complete that entire sentence <laughs> disqualifies you. <laughs> that and your full set of teeth. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, having a two-year-old is, is really hard. I feel like I'm in a relationship with an emotionally unstable woman <laughs> who is also physically abusive and never gets in trouble for it. She kicked me in the neck today <laughs> for rationing her Thin Mint intake. <laughs> so any time you see pictures of us smiling, uh -huh. it's a lie. Yeah. Your whole thing on breastfeeding is, it's hilarious. I was crying laughing. I was crying, it's oh, yeah. so hilarious. And so you have two kids now, and, and I was joking about it being a thing, but like, will you have more, do you think? No, I'm done. You I think, are? Uh, you know, I, I love being a mom and I like having two kids, but uh, I've had two C-sections and I have suffered enough. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my favorite mantra when it comes to motherhood. I, I have suffered enough. <laughs> Whenever I feel mom guilt or when I feel pressure to be a better mom, to cook salmon on a bed of quinoa for my kids, I just think to myself, I have suffered in that. <laughs> yeah. And then I feel, yeah, it's enough. And then I feel fine about feeding my toddler a bag of chips for dinner. Yeah. What, a, you know, so I had a C-section and that's major, it's major, major sur surgery. Yeah. And one of my friends was pressuring me to not take painkillers for fear that some of the medication would pass through the breast milk. And I was like, thank you, but I have suffered enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was fine. The yeah. Vicodin helped the baby sleep better. Yes. <laughs> Smart. Okay. Smart. Yeah. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Your husband uh, is actually, what does he do for a living? He is the vice president at this like multi-million dollar tech company. Okay. Yeah. And yet, Great. when you are on tour, he sells your merch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> because I have to, I have to lure him to coming with me, and it's like this become this fun eccentric hobby of his to sell posters uh -huh. after the show. And he, I talk a lot about about him in my act, so it's like this kind of meet and greet because I don't go out there. Huh. And he sells posters, and he wears like workout gear, he wears like a towel, because he's like sweating. Look, do you have a picture of him selling posters? Y yes, it's huge. Look at that, like at sea that. of humanity. That's a That's lot of- That's him in the white shirt, and there's just like a sea of humanity coming at him. And then there's some women who proposition him. Yes, and I'm like, bitch, aren't you supposed to be my fan? Yeah. You coming to snatch my husband? Oh my God. Yeah. But, they you know. proposition him after watching your show and going <laughs> to get your poster? Yeah. It's <laughs> unbelievable. But he's just like, sure, yeah, I'll go on a date with you and just like takes their money. Oh my. He's like, next. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so you have two Netflix specials and yet you do not have a Netflix account. No. I'm still like super duper cheap because you know, when you were, when I was like so poor for so long and struggling as a comic that like, I just can't let go. So I, I will probably, unless they give me one, uh, I'm never <laughs> probably gonna get my own account. See, I had the, I was poor growing up and I had the opposite effect because when I was poor and I just was like, I am never gonna have that attitude about money. I am oh. always gonna just get what I want. I'm gonna do what I want because I know there's an abundance and I will always have enough. Yes. And that's how I live my life. You shouldn't live your life in fear of money because you're gonna manifest that. But I am oh. gonna give you a year's subscription to, to Netflix. Oh, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, I don't know where it is. I don't have it. I don't have that, but also you, you flash your underwear, and so the next yes, time you're gonna do that. Thank you. All right, <laughs> but uh, no, I don't have it. I, but I am gonna give you a, a year's subscription. Was it on top of the underwear? What? Was it on top of the underwear? Andy, no. <laughs> okay, Andy, we have another one coming. Okay, great. Smooth as can be here. <laughs> Ali Wong, Hard Knock Wife, will be available Mother's Day, May 13th at, on Netflix. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Ah!